figure out how to conduct our covered interest arbitrage, we first set up the covered interest rate parity formula to see if it holds. The formula is forward rate equals the spot rate times 1 plus the interest rate of the numerator currency divided by 1 plus the interest rate of the denominator currency. The forward rate is 1.42 US dollars buys 1 British pound. And we want to find out what that is relative to what it should be under covered interest rate parity. We plug in the spot rate, which is 1.39 US dollars per British pound, multiply by 1 plus the interest rates. So the US dollar was 2.5% and the British pound was 0.009 or 0.9%. The right hand side there will reduce to 1.412. Therefore, the forward price is greater than what it should be. Now, we want to follow the principle of buy low, sell high. So would we rather buy British pounds at 1.42 US dollars or sell? Well, we want to sell because 1.42 is a higher price than what it would be under covered interest rate parity. So our strategy will be to sell British pounds at the forward price. Now, whatever you do in the forward market, you have to do the opposite in the spot market to have the arbitrage. So therefore, we need to buy the British pound at the spot price. That's the hardest step. Once we figure this out, everything falls into place. So now let's start from the beginning. We know that we're going to buy the British pounds at the spot price. Where will we get the British pounds? Well, we have to buy it with dollars. Where will, will we get the dollars? We have to borrow it because we don't want to use any of our own money and arbitrage requires a zero net investment. So our steps are first to borrow US dollars and I will pick an arbitrary amount of a million dollars and I'll be borrowing at 2.5%. At this point in time, I also have to enter the in British pounds at the forward price. So I have to have a price locked in at the beginning. Right, I'm going to use the dollars to convert to British pounds because we know that we have to buy British pounds to be buying it at the spot price, which is one British pound per $1.39, which will give us 719,424 British pounds. Now that we have British pounds, what do we do for the next year? Well, we invest the pounds. So we lend the pounds at the interest rate we may lend at, which is 0.9%. In one year, we'll have 719,424 British pounds times 1.009, which is 1 plus the interest rate. Giving us 725,899 British pounds. After the one year is up, it's time for us to sell the British pounds at the forward price, which we had locked in at the beginning of the year. We had 725,899 British pounds. We convert them at the forward price, which is 1.42 US dollars for one British pound, giving us 1,030,777 dollars. Remember we had borrowed the million dollars at 2.5% interest. So now it's time to pay back the US dollar loan, which will be for a million dollars times 1.025, so $1,025,000. And now we see that this is what we get, this is what we owe, so we can compute exactly what our profit is, which is the difference 
of what we receive after selling the pounds and pay back this loan. Five thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven U.S. dollars in arbitrage profit in one year.